The question is, is there a reality as it is or a reality as we see it? So there is this simple one where two people are arguing whether a figure in the ground that is written in the ground is six or nine. And the one person standing on the bottom of it says is nine, and the person standing at the other end of it says is six. And they're arguing very passionately because they both see what they see. One says six, one says nine. Funny enough, they are both correct. If you stand at the bottom of the figure, it is nine. If you stand at the head, it is six. Take example of uh, an elephant and the view of the elephant. Someone holding the tail, if they were both blind, will say, this is a snake. If the other blind man is by the side of the elephant, you'll probably think it's a wall. And the one at the foot of the elephant might think it's a tree. And the one on the trunk might think it's something completely different from these two people are saying. And we have to be very careful about being stuck in our reality. Because if you look at something through a white bottle, you see it clearly. If you look at it through a green bottle, it appears green, and a blue bottle, green, blue, and a red bottle, red. So let's sometimes not hold this ten tenuous opposite sides and stick to our point. Let's show a bit more empathy and probably see from the other point of view or the other person's view. So if the person arguing that it is six went over to the side of the other guy where he's standing and sees a nine, he might consider that, well, what you are seeing is a nine. Or if the other person, vice versa, went to his side, then you see a six. Don't think that it's absolute and your opinion is a fact. Think about it.